So good evening, everybody. We're here today with Johnny Lara, the person who is uh, helping us uh, the We Care program. He's the supervisor of the program. And uh, I just want to ask him, uh, Johnny, how have we been dealing with the We Care situation and to support the children in the schools? We have been working with um, the tutors. Actually, we've been meeting together and have been coming up with the plan and strategize how we can go ahead and reach out to the kids that really need our help. Our program uh, was composed of 102 kids and we wanted to reach out to them as families and see if there was a way that we can offer services via Zoom or online to help them not fall behind and reach their academic goals. Perfect. And what is something that we learned from this survey that we did to the parents? We learned that a lot of our students are needing the social emotional intelligence part of, of, you know, staying in touch with each other and being able to grow in that, in that sense. I think getting homework done has always been a struggle regardless if they're in person or, or online, but being able to really be there for them and check up on them and to see each other and, and know that they're not alone, that besides their family that's with them there, they can reach out to a bigger family, which is us, and we can help them with that. Perfect. And uh, we, what are we providing there as a, as a We Care program? We're providing uh, tutor services as far as helping them achieve their homework, getting it done, and being able to just help out the parents. Um, a lot of them, a lot of the families are, you know, composed of three or four members, and a lot of them are being, um, they're, children that attend school. So keeping up with everything that each one gets assigned can be overwhelming for the parents. So we want to make sure that we help them by reading to them, sharing the screen and getting their homework done, whether it's math or any type of um, subject that they are struggling with. How and about then the, we provide the activities. How about the safety? I mean, how do we keep the, the, the kids safe? Yeah, well, we actually record all of, our, all of our lessons and when we're meeting with them. So one of the things that we keep the kids safe is by going over the rules daily and reminding them of what's the proper use of the internet and what are things that they should be focused on when, when, when coming to us and providing any information. As a matter of fact, a lot of our kids do the virtual uh, background where it's fun for them because they get to decide where they want to be in the world or where they want to be. And some of our kids are doing their homework when they're in the background, it's the, um, they're in space, you know? So, so it's fun to, to see them do that because it keeps them safe and they know that they should, you know, just be ready to learn. And we really, really want to make sure that they are getting passwords when they're going to require to sign in so that we know who our kids are and we take attendance to make sure that they are all present. And our staff is also trained to deal with this type of uh, online. Is that right? I mean, Correct. You, they're never by themselves with a kid. There is always yes. two staff members with a kid if it's necessary. So they never, never by themselves. Correct. It's eight of us and we break out into rooms. So we always meet together as a group like we would do in person. And once we're all there, um, we break out into rooms. And because it's eight of us, we're able to divide, I mean, to split into four different breakout rooms and then uh, split two of each uh, tutor into the, the group. Now, tell me, uh, the other day we have the staff meeting and, uh, and one of the, the tutors were, was really excited about how much she helped this kid. Can you tell us a little bit what she was sharing with us that meeting? Yes, um, it was uh, what we call a double whammy, just because the mom, um, the mom couldn't uh, like open up Zoom, first of all. So it became kind of, I mean, technology was getting involved and, you know, that kind of stuff was kind of becoming an obstacle. But it was nice to see the tutors, it was two of them, helping the mom download and, and explaining to her how to share the screen to share the homework. And um, we actually read the feedback from the, the teacher. And the professor wrote in the, the feedback that she wasn't able to understand the student's writing because his grammar was not correct. And even though he did it on the computer, it was just not legible. Like we couldn't really understand what he was trying to, to come across, you know, to explain a story. So once we broke everything down and we were able to um, get the meaning and, and help him, it was it was great. I mean, we he finished all his homework and he was backed up actually because mom couldn't help him and mom did not understand and she wasn't loading all the homework. So it I mean it took them a while to get the work done, but it really brought a smile to the tutors because she helped them. 
she helped mom understand how to run it and it gave mom that peace that we were going to get the homework done and the kid did his homework i mean accurate and his spelling was better and everything was really really good i mean and this is a kid that has been struggling with the district because of language barriers he understands more spanish than he does english so being able to really see him understand what he was writing and spelling the words really was it was i mean it was very uh, rewarding so it's kind of neat because we're making a difference in their lives because in reality parents did not speak english and we are helping this kid to to feel i mean the the, the emotional the, the the social aspect as well we're developing in him so we he can be part he can feel that he belongs and he's not stupid because he doesn't know how to read and things like that yeah correct and i think that um coming from you know a family where you are the old he's the oldest sibling you know so coming from a home where that kind of pressures on you and he's a second grader so you know understanding that he's not alone that we're there to help i mean it, it, it's great to see that and that's exactly what we're doing this video is basically to tell everybody in the community that we are here as a the we care program and uh, we offering this service by free for until the end of the year so we are not charging you anything we just need to write the permission slip get in contact with us with the email that we'll show over there and we'll be able to help you out a little bit as well we're already thinking camp savvy is that right johnny that is correct yes we're trying to to really you know we are a, a community like you were mentioning and more than that i think that we are a, a family and we need to just know how to you know take the kind of like the those little roller coaster rides you know like just know how to how to hang in there and work together to do what's best for each other you know because i think that it helps us as well i thought it would be difficult to do the tutoring online and do anything that had to do with connecting with the students uh, via zoom or anything but seeing it like i said not only was it rewarding but it kind of made me grow as a person i was able to really see that my talents are and my gifts are not just given to me to just store them away. It's more of sharing them and being able to to use them more than ever now to really give these kids that that sense of joy and um, security, you know, like making sure that they know that school's almost over, but we will help them um, as exactly as we were doing when we were physically together. Nice, nice, nice. And just to say it in the Camp Savvy, we have around 50 young people who meet uh, weekly uh, every Friday to to get ready for the summer camp as well. So thank you so much, Johnny, for giving us the time uh, today to talk. I know it's Sunday, but we wanted to do it because we just didn't want to pass more time. We have more two more weeks of, uh, of a school and we want people to take advantage of this situation. You know, if they have any problem with the with their sons or, or daughters in a school, we can we can definitely help them out. Um, and to all of you, thank you for being part of the community. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you for being part of the Savio family. Thank you, Johnny. Thank, thank you, you so much and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.